Hey guys, my name is Tariana. I am an intuitive tarot reader. I am an intuitive tarot reader. As you see by today's titles, we finna get in the tea about the crown chakra and guests. So if you're interested in a video like that, then carry on watching. But before we get into this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because I'm already know you're gonna like this channel. Turn on your post notifications. I mean, subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you would never miss another upload. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the tea. The first thing first I want to get into is what is your crown chakra and what does it represent? Your crown chakra represents the center of your, it's the center of your spiritual soul. It also brings us enlightenment. It is, um, it stores energy amassed through, through kind thoughts and actions, faith, meditation, and prayer. This energy center controls your, your connection to spirit as well as, as well as your sense of all the universal, um, consciousness and with and wisdom so when your um crown chakra is balanced you can feel a state of blissful union with all with all of this it says of your with all of this it's like a spiritual it's a spiritual ecstasy enlightenment you could you could experience having confidence in oneself inner peace feeling connected to one's life person feeling connected to your life purpose your life purpose and um fully under and fully understanding it but when your third, I mean, when your crown chakra is unbalanced, you can feel sluggish, overreact, or overreactive pineal gland. This can cause migraines and headaches. Also, difficulty with a sense of direct, a sense of direction in your life. You could experience difficult. You could experiencing difficulty meditating, feeling connected to spirit, and and spiritual, uh, spiritual uh, disinterest as well as boredom. You can also experience brain fog, lack of ins inspiration, very judgmental of others, and feeling like feeling life feeling feeling life feeling like life is pointless or just empty on the inside. Okay, so the journal problems that I want to get into for you guys. If you are a journaler, then go ahead and you know uh, pause the video, write these journal problems down, whatever whatever works for you, you know, and stuff like that. So we have four journal problems, and it says, "Do I feel supported by my by high, higher power? Do I feel supported by God?" Do the next question I want to get into is, "Do I easily trust my intuition?" The third question I want to get to is, "Where do I go to to find?" Um, where do I go to to find, where do I go to to find inner peace? The fourth question, last but not least, I want to get into is, do I feel a larger purpose? Am I actively working? Do I feel a larger purpose and am I actively working on it? So those are, those are the four journal props that I have for you guys. The next thing I want to get into is activities. So just like kind of like the third eye chakra, you can just use, um, you can use Oracle cards, tarot cards. Um, you don't have to use tarot cards, but you can use like Oracle cards and things in that nature to help strengthen your intuition. You can also do, um, uh, like intuitive exercises with yourself, like intuitively journaling and things in that nature, pretty much things that will help you like strengthen your intuition and your awareness of yourself pretty much and things that's going on around you. I also wanted to get into the three questions that I have for you guys is do I, do I always feel worth? Do I always feel worthy of the universe love? Why or why not? How can I connect with my highest self in in my daily life? Who is my highest self? How does my highest self um show up uh, show up in this world? So yes. You know, figure out your higher self, figure out who is your higher self. I feel like with the whole higher self thing, I feel like we are our higher selves. We just kind of feed in into like uh I would say lower parts of ourselves like um um, thoughts of, you know, depression thoughts or, uh, thoughts that's coming from anxiety thoughts is coming from, you know, things that just not your intuition and stuff like that. So I definitely do feel like that's one affirmation that I, I do speak over myself daily. I'd be like, I am my higher self and I feel it in my spirit, Lord. Yes. Cause I am my higher self. Don't play with her. But my higher self is somebody that has like a unlimited belief system. Like she don't, what's it called? She don't limit herself to anything. She can overcome any obstacle in her life. She just very powerful to me. So that's how I love, that's what my higher self is. I don't know about for you, but that's what my higher self is. She be coming in, she be coming in clutch. She be like, she don't let nobody play with her cause period. <laughs> but yes, I love my higher self. Also, we finna get into the tea. Okay, let me get back into foods that you can get into. Like you can, you can eat garlic, ginger, ginger, onions, mushrooms, and coconut. Anything that is white, pretty much. 
and stuff like that. That can help symbolize, or you could wear white items. That can help you symbolize you working on your crown chakra for that week or that, that the couple days that you've been working on it or however you want to do it, you know? So affirmations that I would recommend is I honor the divine within me. I am at peace and I live in the present moment of now. So yes. So thank you guys for taking your time out for this crown chakra tea. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the post notifications on so you will never miss another upload. And yes, guys, until next time, peace, stay blessed.